What's good, family? We're about to call him back right now. Let's see. What's good, my nigga? Chillin', chillin', bro, chillin'. Already, me too, man. You know, j just another day. Same shit, same shit. Hell yeah, yeah. Real talk. Already. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I, You know, I, I really don't know you, man. Introduce yourself. You know, this is the first time we ever talking, really, to be honest. Already. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And and, and I, I enjoyed our conversation, you know what I'm saying? I can tell he real. I like that shit, man. I like that shit. Yeah, yeah, Already. For sure, man. So I mean, uh, where where you from, bro? I already so you you really know what it, what's going on. You know what I'm saying? You know what's going on down here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I definitely know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? As far as a lot of the back shit, you know what I'm saying? As far as what you know, you know, I'm tapping in. I'm an OG, so that's my little brother. You know what I'm saying? So I know I know a lot of what's going on. Yeah, yeah. Big facts. I can tell my nigga. I, I can I can hear it in your voice. Fuck you, man. You know something about it. Hell yeah. Real. You know what I'm saying? I'm in touch with everybody. I might not be out there physically. Yeah. I'm still out there, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm connected, bro. I'm fucking with the whole DFW, bro. Already. I heard y'all interview, bro. I fuck with Fort Worth, too, bro. I got a couple big homies I used to fuck with, bro. I used to fuck with Smokey Dean. Okay. You know what I'm saying? My boy, Boo Rilla. I've been tapped in. I've been coming out there and having beef. That's what's up. You know, me, I got a champion with everybody, bro. I go all the way back to three on records, all that, you know what I'm saying? That's what's up, my nigga. So, so I know you a real one. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, so, how did you feel about the conversation that me and your bro had? We might have should have cleared it. We might have should have cleared it. Yeah, some of the, some of the personal shit that he got going on, I don't know nothing about. So that was the first time I heard about some of it. But you know, uh, some, you know, with, it, with people names, you know, public, it, it, it's different when you talk about people that everybody knows versus the people that people may not know behind the scenes and all that. You know, some of that stuff needs to be, you know, probably explained a different way. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I feel that. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I had to keep it respectful because he kept it G. He kept it all the way 100. So really, just to clear it up, I'm down for the nigga until I see something flawed. He didn't show me nothing flawed. The only thing that he showed me was he's a real one and that, that, that we're going to have to run it back. We're going to have to run that conversation back and give all clarity on all facts. And I like his music. I really fuck with his music, my nigga. All bullshit aside. It's bigger than him. Uh, I can speak before work side because 
because, you know what I'm saying, I know Fort Worth moves a little different. You know what I'm saying? And being a Dallas cat, I have to say that. You know what I'm saying? Tapped in with the Fort Worth cat. You know what I'm saying? Back when we used to have the meetings, we really was the only cats from Dallas up there. You know what I'm saying? Me and my team, I'm doing the tank. You know what I'm saying? Put up records. That's when we was the only ones really kind of connected with Fort Worth because I feel like Dallas and Fort Worth was really one entity. You know what I'm saying? We put yeah. together. We want to take over the whole thing to take over the whole region. You feel me? You feel me? Cause they they put us together already. But see, where the com- where the confusion come into play that I feel like people don't see is that we not one city, but it's one people in one culture. Cause everybody in Dallas got people in Fort Worth. Everybody in Fort Worth got people in Dallas. But it's just different rules of the game when it comes to you know what I'm saying. When it comes to how uh, I, I put it to you like this. Because I don't want to misrepresent Dallas or Fort Worth because I love both cities. Exactly. Everybody different, different strokes, for different folks. And uh, both of them is unique and stand on their own. That's the problem. They stand on their own. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Fort Worth got his own little style. Yeah. Got his own little style. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like Baton Rouge and New Orleans or something. You know, people like to throw the same thing, but it's a little different. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? It's a little different. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? It's a little different. Yeah, you feel me? So so you already know what time it is, bro. And then you linked in with Mo three. You was click tight with Mo three from what my understanding is. From what my from what the streets is saying though. Okay. Yeah. You knew of Mo three. I I I I I mean I, I know Rainwater. You know Rainwater. Okay, yeah. There there the clarity Rainwater, is. You know what I'm saying? Rainwater and my brothers and they was all cool with each other. I don't know what they how they stand now, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he ain't lying. Exactly. They they all really deserve a round of applause. But see, like you said earlier, I feel where the bullshit in the game come is these gimmicks where, oh, we going to beef. But you know, at some point, the lines get crossed. At some point, the, it get mixed up and blurred. And then, oh, so-and-so get in your ear. This one get in your ear. And shit gets violent, man. So politic-wise, it's certain niggas who just can't really speak on shit. Because of the other niggas in the backdrop that they fucking with. Yep, exactly. And then at the same time, like you said, with the politics that's going on, you know, it be, you know, we, we come from places where we got, you know what I'm saying, just stretching numbers and there's a lot of people around. See, I'm in California. And, you know, these cities are a little smaller. These click crews, they might be a little smaller. As far as, like, Fort Worth and Dallas, there's be a lot of people involved. So you might have somebody that's involved with some shit that the word don't get back about what's going on and they act how they act because they might be really out in the video or they might be really out somewhere where the other people ain't it you know what I'm saying come, come these cats in the they might be out of town somewhere in LA Fort Worth or, I mean you know what I'm saying uh, not, not in Fort Worth but not in Dallas you know what I'm saying they might be they, they on the highway somewhere yeah they on the highway somewhere and, the, and that stuff they represent the people that's out there they still out there so they, if somebody say something bad about it they might feel like you know they gotta represent go do something they gotta hold right it down there. Yeah. For sure. And that's why people, if you don't want to be connected to something, don't represent it. You know exactly. You got to stand on it, man. You can be from your hood, but you ain't got to walk around with a, with a, with a, a lead metal sign or a Jesus post sign <laughs> on your necklace. And you out here doing shows and doing all this. And them kids that still stay in Jesus post, they still stay off lead metal, got to live their life every day. Thank and you, man. You go back out there. Or when you go back out there, you got bodyguards and security and your own people can't get close to you. That ain't real, man. <laughs> That, that, I think that's kind of what my little brother was trying to talk about. A lot of these cats really ain't built that way to move a certain way. So when you out here in these streets, you got to watch how you move it. 
you gotta watch how you talk, man, because it's people out here that's in the streets every day. They ain't going to those nice uh, B and B, you know, big hotel suite, you know, uh, mansions out there. Um, it's every, real. Uh, all that they in the street every day. Exactly, man. And you know, one thing about it, what what it's doing is breeding jealousy and envy. Because one thing about black people, what we don't realize that we are responsible for making sure the money trickle back down to the man who don't got nothing. Even though, you know what I'm saying, that's a hard concept for niggas to get because some niggas feel like they don't got nothing. You know what I mean? It, you know what I mean? It, it, anything is plenty, man. So we got to be the one that redistribute the money back into the community, even if it's just, oh, I'm going to go get a, pl- a fish plate from Keisha. Oh, uh, uh, uh. Uh, Lil John make make t-shirts. I'm gonna go support my nigga. Oh, uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? It, it, it gotta be some type of loyalty. Exactly, exactly. We, gotta we gotta learn this. We really, we gotta teach these niggas this shit, man. We gotta stand on it, man. Mm-hmm. They don't get it, bro. Everybody gotta represent for each other, man. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people out here like to hide behind these, uh, Persona. Uh, Black Lives Matter. Yeah, yeah. You don't really support your own. Yeah, yeah. I can't hurt too often, man. I really want to get this on my chest. Yeah. I really want to defend platforms like y'all. I really want to defend uh, uh, the bloggers and the bloggers and everybody out here, the reporters and the the people that do the write ups and all that because y'all get a bad rap. Yeah. People need these platforms and they want to be on these platforms. We need black media, man. Exactly. You know, you I know what I was doing when I came here and what I came here for. And I respect you for that shit, shit, man. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people want to give, I ain't going to see no names of no other bloggers and nothing but no these famous bloggers with a bad name. They ain't working with the police. They snitching. They doing this. Hey, man, when you get on that platform, you know what you signed up for, bro. Don't be, don't be giving that man that you 50% accountable for what you done, man. Yeah. You understand me? Yeah. True. Keep it true. And then on my end, this is what I'm going to say. Because I see a lot of shit going on, man. I see a lot of shit going on in the city. I love my city. We standing on this. We've been pushing this shit for years, man. We just now getting a little traction with the shit. It's niggas out here like this man on his phone, like me, like like a lot of the, like his brother, like like a lot of these uh, other niggas that you see that that's getting in the mix and now they they getting that due credit. We really been out here trying to elevate our people, but. It's so many niggas hiding behind a disguise and a persona. The young people don't realize that's an image. Like Pimp C say, this is an image, man. All that shit, all that shit ain't legit. Some of that shit fake. Some of it's an image, man. But what we gonna do, we gonna try to keep it real for real. And we gonna take responsibility for what we say and put out here and for our people. Don't shit on our people. We ain't saying nobody guilty. Yeah. Let's just watch. Let's watch. That everybody innocent until proven guilty. Everybody innocent until proven guilty. This is for entertainment purposes only. But God is revealing and moving. God's revealing the truth. We just got to have eyes to see. And I'm watching you. I'm watching y'all niggas. Not you, man. I'm watching y'all niggas out there. On the back end, we're we going to find out what you did. We're going to find out the traction. We're going to we gonna get a reaction. We're going to find out what you did when wasn't nobody looking. All that shit. We're going to find out who killed Ron Lee and Miss Gloria. R.I.P. to them. Some real ones. Rest in peace to my three. A real one. Back to you, man. I respect you, bro. Rest in peace to half. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. We really connected out here, man. You know, a lot of people get caught up in the politics. You know what I'm saying? Of what's going on, man. Like I said, it's, you know what I'm saying? It's other people involved. They got to walk, breathe, and eat in the areas that y'all mention in y'all songs, the areas that y'all showing in y'all videos. But when y'all leave, y'all ain't nowhere to be found. Exactly. Exactly. Some of us really risking some shit, man. God, gonna, God on our side, though. God, God on our shoulder, though. Shit, we've been battling the devil this long. I got a video out right now called "Everything Risky," man. That's what I Everything mean. risky. I like that Everything shit. Risky. Everything what? Everything Say it one more time. Everything risky, bro. Everything you do, you take the chance. Do you hear me? My my granny used to say that. You feel me? I, I like how you said that, my nigga, because that, that, that's a sermon right there. 
The old folks used to say that shit, my nigga. You, soon as you go through the door, you taking a chance. That's why you got to cover yourself. Soon as I can walk outside and get hit by a car, I'm taking a chance. You know what I'm saying? We in a situation, we in a pandemic. Exactly. Not only that, we in the Holocaust, a black Holocaust that's been going on for 400 years. It's called a ma'afa. They don't want us to talk about it. They want us to talk about the Jews. They want us to talk about the Jews. More power to you. More power to the Jews. But who are the Jews? Catch that. Anyways, back to you, man. I love real ones, my nigga. I hope this ain't the last time we're going to be talking because I respect you. And you deserve... To, to be heard. I want your music to be heard. And, and fuck the dumb shit. Fuck the money. Fuck all that shit. I want to meet you in real time one day, my nigga. I hit the highway, my nigga. Sure, we might have to put that together, bro. Like I said, man, these platforms, bro. We, we, we appreciate these platforms, bro. Everybody get a, you know what I'm saying? Don't get an opportunity to tell their side, man. Be able to say what they want, bro. And, you know, they like, like I said, they like to give y'all plat- these platforms and these blogs with bad rip. But you know, at the end of the day, man, they provide the service for us, man. And it'd be a good service for us not to do that. Give y'all that props. Give y'all that respect, man. I appreciate that, man. I do. And I and, and I received that shit. And, and I returned that to you a thousand fold. Because real niggas who willing to do real things and speak up for our people, they deserve their respect. And, and, and we got to stand behind these men. Don't let nobody take niggas like this out the community because they got families. And they going to breed better men behind them. Don't hate on us. Protect us. And we going to protect women and children. And the circle going to go like that. Straight up. You just ain't named it yet. I want you to add me, and I'm finna add you to a group. And they got in this group, they got step by step, and it's gonna tell you how to file the paperwork, how to do everything. And y'all do this, man, because you legit, you too legit to quit. And then people that you feed need you, and 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 you need funding. And we gonna get on here, and we gonna ask our people to help us. You need this, this man right here is part of the real nigga conglomeration. He he don't he don't gotta represent it, but I'm saying it's an ideology. This nigga went somewhere and he's breaking bread, man. He don't got all the money in the world. He need help. He need help to feed those people in Stockton, California. I need help to feed these people in Lancaster. We need help so we can help each other, man. If you can help, just help, man. Anything is plenty, man. Real talk. Real talk. And if any of y'all want to reach out to this man, how, how can they find you and connect with you, man, on your social media? On what? Already, man, and 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 can you give us your word that this ain't the last time we gonna hear from you, man? We need an update on your journey. to come back and give us an update because we want to support that shit, man. We want to support the movement. Look, look, I'm finna tell you something, though. I'm finna change my number today because I had some shit go down. It's nothing, it's nothing major. I just got, I got so much traffic that when I give my number out, I, I don't want nobody to be able to, you know what I'm saying? So this right here, this number should stay the same because it's my business number. But whenever... Whenever my wife call me and tell me she switched the line, I'ma shoot you my 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 uh 
You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm going to shoot you my, my, my cell. So if I if you can't catch me here, you can catch me there, bro. Okay, for sure. For sure. Yeah, and we'll, 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 we'll make something happen, man. We're we going to stay connected because I respect you, my nigga. Sure, sure. Yeah. You, bro. I appreciate it. Man, you have a blessed day and just keep it real, bro, and stay safe out there. Don't let no haters trick you up off the streets. Already, man. I'm going to stay connected with you. One.